my channel so for today's video as you can see i'm joined here with callum and Hello. today we are going to be trying the viral tiktok fast food we have done two trying tiktok videos now we did one for dolly's dessert and we did one for the service station and everyone always really likes them so on well the other day on my face Facebook page. The other day on my for you page, TikTok. I got on the TikTok for you page, I got burgerism come up and it's in Manchester and apparently it's Manchester's I've seen most it all the time. It was so nice. Gonna be honest, I've actually never seen it before, but it looks incredible. So we've got the one that went viral on TikTok, which is this one here. I can't remember actually what it's called, which is really the good. So we'll put it on screen. That would be it. And then we've also got here I the chicken one. Out of them. What do you mean? No, just no pickle. Oh right, okay, that's fine. None of us like pickle, do you? No. Oh, I was gonna say. And I then I got out, anyway. I was gonna say I got the chicken one, a normal cheeseburger. We've got the wings, we've got chips, and then we've got all the dips as well. And then we said, because apparently, I think this one is one of these two that's really, really hot. We've got three, it's like, say or shot it questions to ask each other. And if you don't want to answer, you have to take oh, a that big one? scoop. It's spicy. that one, you have to take a big scoop of that just to make it a little bit more fun. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. Well, what one do you want to try first? I kind of want to let me try the, the sauce dips this. first. This is garlic mayo, I think. That's garlic mayo. What's this one? I'm not entirely. Oh, garlic ranch, buffalo, barbecue ranch. That must be barbecue, this must be. I think that's barbecue ranch. Well, I don't know, actually, that one's quite spicy. And chips have nice, nice salt on them. They look like they've got like, nice salt, gosh, pepper on them. Ooh, that mm. salt is lovely, try that. Oh, I'm gonna try that one, that's unreal. I love garlic mayo. Yeah, same. Mmm. Mm, love that one. What is that? I think it's the... Barbecue ranch? Yeah, it must be. And then that, if that's the spicy one, then what's this one gonna be? Barbecue. Oh, yeah, it is. That one is that unbelievable. One. So is this one actually. That's my favourite. I don't know actually. That, that tastes a bit spicy. No, I don't think it's as spicy as that one smells. Mm. Should we try this one now or not a little bit? I'm going to save it until I have to. I know I'm going to have to answer all the questions. No, not answer, sorry. I'm oh my god, it's so spicy. <laughs> I can't deal with spice though. <laughs> Maybe I'm being dramatic. That barbecue ranch, Ooh, that's stunning. unbelievable. Wow. Mm. Very impressed with that. I want to try. Should we try the burger? Oh, we'll get mm. it. Mm. Mm. Be happy. Be happy. I'll just sit and eat some chips while you go. This is gorgeous. Mm. Oh, I wish you could buy this in tube. The tube. Like what? Tube based tube. I wish you could buy this in tube. Nice. <sighs> we'll try the one that went viral first. And this has got, I think it's got, four, well, we'll put the TikTok in here. The number one ordered item on Deliveroo in Manchester. Now this is burgerism. These guys sell up to 1,000 burgers a day, all from an industrial estate in Salford. We had the holy double, four smash patties a season, then flipped. They add four slices of American cheese, turkey bacon, and then they start stacking. That's then all placed on a soft brioche bun with lettuce, red onion, tomato, and burgerism special sauce. And these guys take pride in the packaging as well. This is the one, burgerism. Now we're not exaggerating here, but this could potentially be the best tasting burger you'll find in the north. I'm actually speechless. The meat, the sauce, the bun. Banging. So you guys can see what it's going oh, in here. You better take the tomato out, they terrify me. Take the tomato out? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I hate them. Oh god, it's coming out in pieces. This is going to be so embarrassing eating this on camera. It's massive, there's bacon in it too. Look, this is absolutely huge. Imagine eating this on a first day. Like coming and having this on a first day. Imagine. <laughs> I mean, that'd give me the icky for hating that. Oh god. But then you're putting yourself online doing it. Look at you. <laughs> Go on, fit it in. The god. That's really real. Oh, this is going to be so embarrassing. Oh my God. Apologies for I'm going to look like you. That this. is unreal. Because they smash the patties themselves and I like, make them. Oh my God, they're so good. Oh my god, that is good. How unreal is that? That actually could probably be the best burger I've ever had in my life. It's better than like Five Guys. Burger. I was gonna say, it's, like, it's, five guys it's made the same so as better. the Five Guys ones because they like smash the patties themselves and stuff, but that you can tell it tastes, it's got like, the homemade taste to it. It's like juicy. Yeah, it's proper juicy. I don't like the noises it's making actually. <laughs> that actually is the best burger I've ever had in my life. It is unreal. This is dangerous finding a takeaway this good. Mm -hmm. It is for you with three takeaways a day. Thank you. Language. <laughs> Where's my phone gone? Oh, it's here. Would you like a question? Yeah. Show me the last Snapchat that you received. How do you do that? Well, or open the Snapchat for me to see. And you have to screenshot it, whatever it is. Well, I can't do that. Or you can show me the last message, but you've just shown me the last message, which is Daniela. Oh, is that a group chat? Yeah, it's just my friend in the group chat saying, oh, blood, bless you, God, it's nothing serious. Oh, I really hope it's going to be something better than that. That was Abby. That was boring. You give me a question then. I should have said last text message. My mum's, she said excellent. Hi, Carol's mum. Hi, mum. Go then, you give me a question. Oh, I did write some down actually. Oh, this is a bad question actually, because I feel like even if you're honest, you'll just lie. What? Do you ever slag me off? No. Probably have before, but no. Do you remember like, a time where you have? No. Have you slagged me off? 
Yeah, Same not, not in a bad way, just like, oh, she's annoying me. Especially when you don't answer the phone. Oh, I do, I'm bad at All the time. If I need something, she just never answers the phone. <laughs> like, I need to know something desperately, or ask her something, she just won't answer the phone. She'll be like, oh, sorry, babe, I'm busy. I'm like, well, you're not busy, you're just sat at home, she's just choosing. <laughs> oh, no, the worst is when you're hungover. Oh, when I'm hungover, that is it. If no, I'm editing a video, I'll be hungover, editing a video, and I'll need to know something, I'll ask her something, she's like, oh, babe, sorry, my head's pounding. She can answer the phone for 30 it's, seconds. I know, but when I'm hungover, there's just something about me that likes to be very zen on my own in my bed. That is it. Like I just want to be on she my own. She just chooses not to speak to me, and it's really rude. I mean, it's not just you; it's everyone. I just won't use my phone when I'm hungover. I'll just lay there. You are Robert, sorry. Though. Yeah, but I'm just scrolling. You know when you just don't want to speak to anyone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to think of another time where I might have slept you off. Oh, that's good. But there's more than one then. Mm. Quite recently, I was really annoyed at you, but I can't remember why. <laughs> when? What was it for? I'm trying to wrap my brain. Well, I should do that, I'm gonna try another burger. If I um, think of it again, I'll say it, but... This one's It won't have been anything bad, I'm just very dramatic, everything annoys me. You are very dramatic. Yeah. This is the classic cheeseburger, which I think is what I'd go for if I was to order, because that one's just too big for me to finish on my own. Oh, it's got tomato in as well. You just squished it all in. Yeah, it has. It just tastes the same. As what? Well. As what? Well. It's maybe a little bit more cheesy. Well, I think that one's got more cheese in it. Maybe there's a sauce in that. I don't know. If I do shit. I'm going to have to pick the tomato out if I try that. You don't like that bad? I hate tomatoes and, and mushrooms. Pick it off. Ugh. Yeah, I know you don't like mushrooms. When you go to Five Guys, you get mushrooms in your burger. Oh, it's not no. I do. It's really nice, actually. Not again. Oh, Chrissy. Mm. I think I prefer this one. It's more like manageable. A, yeah. Well, that is just a that lot. That one's a bit too much. Very heavy. Really it's good. Nice though. Do you know what that sauce says? I would have to split that between two people if I were to have that. It's way too big. But it's incredible. Gorgeous. Question. Oh well, no, I've got food on my mouth. Oh, you've kind of just answered my second question. Have I secretly annoyed you? And if so, when? You've already answered that, really. All so, the time. Nice. What's a secret that you've never told anyone? I don't think I really keep secrets. You do because I asked you what was it that we were speaking about the other day, and you were like, oh. A secret. Oh, no, I that was a I secret know. about someone and I couldn't say, okay. and I was winding you up. You have to say out loud that secret, secret that you know and I know, but nobody else can know. Which one? The one about thingy. Oh, I, obviously I can't say you that. You've got to eat then, exactly. You've got to say that secret or you've got to eat. Oh, <laughs> that actually is a secret that you can't tell exactly. for now. Exactly, so that's a good secret. You wouldn't know because I told you. Well, See, so I don't keep secrets. <laughs> I hate spice the land. I'll probably have to try it in a minute. Because spicy, it looks it's bright orange. It is bright orange. It's like a cerise orange. Oh god, it smells worse out of the tub. Yeah, you can tell that's going to be proper spicy. I'm just going to do it. Oh, it's not that bad. No, it is. I was just getting it over with. Do you know like, like spice? It's like sour. Oh, that's what, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, babe. But nice aftertaste, though, actually. Does it? Weirdly, yeah. Don't oh, ask me a question that I, 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 I cannot. Back in from all. I want to try a chicken wing. Oh, I wanted that one because that one doesn't look like it's got a bone in it. No, of course it's got kind of a bone in it. I'm terrified of bones and chicken though. You know what? These are the first chicken wings that I've ordered from a takeaway that look a bit like KFC. With like the crispy. Well, that's why I, mean? I thought they might not have bones in. No, they definitely got bones in. I do want to try one, but the bones just freak me out. Oh my god, that's so good. That sauce is amazing. These are the, the barbecue wings. Oh, that's what I can't bear when my teeth touch a bone. I don't like it. Hot wings are my favourite thing. I do like the sauce, yeah. I really nice sauce. I really don't it? want to touch a bone. Mmm. Like, it's nice actually. That is so good. Good. They're not like greasy. I love that. What's the weirdest thing you've ever been sent? That could mean PR or like a text or someone or mm -hmm. anything. Can you think of anything? I think a weird message I've been sent, but I don't know if I can read them out. Why? I get tagged in these really like disturbing stories from some people. Dad's got tagged in it as well and has. Oh, I did the other day about. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, really... People tag us in really weird things. Like really weird like, things. Like creepy, like. Yeah, like creepy. Disturbing <laughs> things. That's, like, was, really it, was it the story? The story about, one. Um, yeah, 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 the story yeah. one. I literally was reading it and I was like, oh my god, I've just woken up and it was in my tag. Yeah, they make me feel a bit sick that people think of these things. That's probably one of the weirdest things that I've been Okay, well, at. let's think of PR then. What's the weirdest Physically thing you've been sent, sent for PR? Mm, I want to say it's weird. Have you sent sex toys before? Oh, has it loved that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Az would love it. Um, I, don't know, I just got sent a pineapple the other day. Yeah, but that was for you. Yeah, how did you know that? I didn't put it anywhere. Because everyone put it everywhere. <laughs> I was going to say. It's like it's still at home, home. I'm sure I have been sent weirder things, but thinking off the top of my head, do you think of anything weird that I've been sent? Mm. Well, I've opened it and we've been like, this is really weird. I'm just going to eat because I don't know. But I've been sent some weird things. Go on, get a big dollop because I don't. It's bigger than that. I got a heap. You said a heap. Yeah, but you can handle spice a bit better than me though. Very cold spice. 
It's really, my lips are burning. The sauce is freezing. Well, yeah, they don't heat the sauce up, do they? No, but like sometimes when it's spicy, it feels warm. Whereas like that spice feels cold. I don't think that's spicy at all. You could have. Like, don't get me wrong, it's got the tiniest little after kick, mm. but I don't think that's that bad actually. I just love this one. I never eat spice, I can't like it. Should we try this last burger? Yeah, we've got, um, I think you've got another question for me. Yeah, I have. Look how, why is it that orange? That looks spicy. It looks spicy. What, what burger is that? It's the chicken one with cheese. Free bird. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? No, but it's incredible. Oh my god, that chicken is unreal. It's got a bit of spiral in it, how's that? No. Mm, that does look nice. Mmm. It's got like a slaw, or like a cold sauce on it on top. Mmm. Their chicken is amazing. I'm thoroughly impressed by this. What is really good? Like, that is so good. I'm normally not really like a chicken burger girl. Normally I'm just a burger person, but oh my god, that's unbelievable. I don't know what it is, but I prefer chicken as a burger. Yeah. Like when it's like an actual, like, not like processed chicken. If someone gave me this piece of chicken on its own, I probably wouldn't eat it, but in a burger. Well, yeah, I don't think I'd eat it on its own, but I, I love chicken in a burger. Mm. More than beef, so I good. think. Oh my god. I'm thoroughly impressed by this. Yeah, I'm loving it. Chips are wow. so nice, especially with this sauce. Okay. What's the most disgusting thing you've ever done? Disgusting? Mm. I don't really think I'm a disgusting person. Mm. I will eat for it. What's your most disgusting thing? I think you do very disgusting things sometimes. Mm. I do have some disgusting habits. You do have some really dirty habits. No, I just have a no. habits. My one bad habit is that when I'm really, really, really comfortable around someone, I'll happily sit and pick my nose in front of them. So like, I'll get really comfortable. You do that in public. No, yeah, but on the sly in public, if I really need to get it out. Like, I'm not like... Don't well, even times I'm... they have to say to Alex, stop it. Yeah, you know, but like... And she'll be like, oh, well, I've got bogey. That is, no, but <laughs> that... Wait till you get that, somewhere. I know, but I, that is... That's that my... I've always done it since childhood. Like, I've always had a thing that's disgusting about picking my nose. But like, when I'm really comfortable with someone, I'll sit and happily do it. So now we all sit in a group and I can happily... No, don't say anything. I say something every well, time. Well, yeah, but like, has by and pray away. No one will blink an eyelid if I sit there and pick my nose. They'll just sit there and think, well, that's Anna. You do. Well, I know it's you, but you, I just... You guys stop it. Yeah, <laughs> little... it's disgusting, dude. I know, it, it is disgusting. I know, but once I'm comfortable, once I'm sat, like, if we're all sat in silence on our phones for like half an hour, you've said to me so many times, oh, Anna, Big bogey. Yeah, but I wouldn't pick it out in front of you. I could feel it in my nose, but I wouldn't pick a big bogey out like you do. I've seen you pick your nose in front of me. Well, maybe a little bit, but not. I don't do it that much anymore. Not to your extent. Oh, I'm not sure you do. I don't think I do it that much anymore. I'm more conscious of it now, but only because everyone brought it to my attention. But I've done it in front of Baz and Byron for years. But then Haz does it as well. Not as bad. So the most disgusting thing I do is I can't keep my burps in. Yeah, that's what you always do. When I, as soon as I not eat, drink a sip of fizzy drink, I burp. That's I'm, true, actually. Every two seconds. But I, I, my burps Sorry, so no. big once I've had a drink. Drink, like a fizzy drink. You know what this is actually. But like, really I, I actually can't help that. Like they just come up. Like what else are you supposed to do? You might cut this out, but this is when we were camping the other day. That was the first time I probably heard you fart. Yeah, I don't fart. He doesn't fart at all. But when we were camping, it was just something in the air. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was so funny. <gasps> oh my god, we were all in the tent. And, and she won't. Mind. She won't go outside either. I've never spotted. These are like so four man tents, and there was like ten of us in there. And she farted underneath the duvet, then lifted it up, oh, and it was pure egg and just pure. It it was like cheesy. It was oh, disgusting. Know, it was so horrible. And she was just sat there giggling. And then yeah, she, she just, she was just that sat was, there That giggling. was foul, that actually was That foul. was really bad. She needed to go to the toilet or something. We all got up and we were like, Has, that's too far. We were like, you should have got up and done the outside. Oh, I've not actually addressed my hair. I should have said that at the start. Oh, yeah. You need to ignore my hair. I've had it cut very short. My head looks a bit of a I really shape. like it. I think it looks really nice, though. Yeah, but it's normally much longer than this. I think it looks smart like that. Maybe I just need to get used to it. Yeah, I think once you wake up tomorrow and you've slept, it for one night. Yeah, I need to like properly style that and stuff as well. But... Yeah. You got one more question? Yeah, have you done all yours? I've done all mine now. It's the one to put your mum's a milf, babes, can't lie. Obviously to your mum, no one knows what my mum looks like. My mum actually is. My mum, I think my mum's beautiful. She was glowing the other day. This what? is a good question actually, if someone's asked. When is the last time you lied to me? Because mm. I feel like you do lie to me sometimes. I'll probably lie to you about like, if I'm actually busy or if I'm just laying in bed. I'll be yeah. like, sorry babe, I'll call you back in 10 minutes, but I'm actually just like already laying in bed. I'm just enjoying my own time for 10 minutes. I do that quite a lot. I will admit that. You never lie other than that. Not really, because I feel like I'd always get... I feel get... like some things you said to me, I just didn't mean... I'd always that, get caught that out. That seems like a lie. I feel like, yeah, but we always catch each other out, so what would be the point? I, feel like I every... don't think I lie. Have you never lied? Do you ever think, oh, I think he's lying? No, not really. Well, Haz is a bad liar. Haz is a good liar, to an extent. Yeah, but it's quite scary. But then good. It's, it's scarily good, but then she always gets caught out. But if you yeah, count, she, she, she's, like, she's, she's a, a good liar, but oh. she always gets caught out, but then Callum doesn't lie. Well, you might... I don't lie sober. sober. Or you might tell a little white lies when you're sober, maybe. When you're drunk, he like comes... 
whole supply. supply. And I know I'm doing it as well. I just can't stop myself. But you say the most far-fetched random things. I make things up like scenarios and I just yeah. tell people compulsive lies. Like, I can't even think what I do now because I can never remember when I'm drunk. But when, in the moment, I know I'm doing it and I just carry on. It was the one, you can't, I know you can't say the story, but the one that happened fairly recently when I was told about it, I was like, oh my God. I made a lie up about someone on holiday and it caused a lot of trouble. <laughs> so if they're watching this, you know who you are. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't think of any like things specific that I've lied to you about, but probably just the fact that I'm like, I really like enjoying my own time in the evenings. And for some reason, I feel like everyone goes on a bit of a mad FaceTime session. Within like an hour, everyone will try and call everyone. It's all great. But like when I'm doing something- But I know everyone wants to participate. No, I do participate, but I just really like in the evenings having some of my own time for like an hour. Well, no, I wouldn't say that's like a, a bad lie. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's bad. I'm just, I just say that I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm doing this or I'm doing that. When in reality, I'm just yeah. enjoying my own company. But I don't think there's anything else. For the last one, we're both going to show a picture. Our favorite picture from when we went camping. Because, because we, we all looked horrendous. Awful pictures. Like, I just completely let go of myself those four days. And there's one of me and Freya that I think is funny. <laughs> oh, but we'll put it on screen. This one, me and Freya. Me and Freya had just come out of the showers and we got photographed. <laughs> <laughs> that picture. Uh, Josh. Josh. This one's my favourite picture. I basically, because the toilets were like up the field and um, we had to walk like up this field to go obviously go to the toilet. And I heard this noise. I'm thinking, oh God, what's that? And I stood waiting outside because at this point we didn't know there was another toilet. No, we had no idea. One. And I was thinking, like, someone throwing up. I was like, hello? <laughs> was it? And it was Flossie throwing up. And she come out of the toilet <laughs> looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> because we've been drinking the night before. She was so hungover that morning, bless her, wasn't she? She's thrown up all day. And then I went to the toilet another time and she blocked it with marshmallows because it was coming up in her sick because no, she'd she been didn't. eating them. What is it the marshmallows were coming up in her sick and that's what the toilet she was She was throwing up like full marshmallows, yeah. <laughs> that's what they were blocked with. She's iconic. Look, can I show this one? <laughs> Can I? That's actually probably the most disgusting thing I've ever done. Yeah, it was Basically, chucking it down with rain. It was like hailstoning, like horrifically. And I needed a wee so bad and the toilets were like so far at the campsite. So Josh had said like, you know, you can just go for a wee outside the tent if you need to. So I just stuck my like bum out the tent and I weed. And then Freya called Byron and was like, can look out your window right now. So him and Lewis were looking out the window because they were opposite. Can I put you can't put the video in. <laughs> That was the most disgusting thing I've ever done. So I actually disgusting. didn't think he was going to do it. I was desperate, like, dead. And it was rain. You can't even see the rain in that video. That's what makes it worse. But it was so rainy and it was so wet. So I Do just... you know what? It probably wasn't even that rainy. It's just the sound of it on the tent made it seem worse. So much worse. And we were all so tired. So, so I she just, just put went for a wee outside out, the, out tent. the tent. But loads of people went for a wee outside the tent. Yeah, but you were just... still inside the tent. You just stuck your bum out. That is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Overall, I would give burgerism a 10 out of 10. Like, if I would give it 11, actually. I, yeah, I do. I haven't say. spoke about it much in the video, but it Neither, is incredible. But I would say this is honestly one of the best takeaways I've probably tried in Manchester because it's like a greasy takeaway, mm. but it's not greasy. I can't explain it's it. It's very like, like homemade. It's very homemade. It's not the cheapest of things, I will be honest. The whole order, what we've got here, cost me £50. This burger was like £14, I think. Oh, wings. yeah, but it has got like what? Five, it's got four, six patties. Yeah, it's like loads of patties in. I suppose obviously it's just because I've ordered that much, but yeah, it's not the cheapest thing. However, it is incredible. It worth These it. sauces, you definitely need to try. The wings, I think you need to try. Try. If you're like got a this smaller ranch appetite, barbecue one, you need to try that. That's one. the best one. If you've got a smaller appetite, I'd get the cheeseburger because I feel like they taste quite similar anyway. But there could be a cute little date night idea to go and get this big burger, half it. You just said you don't want to eat that on a date. Oh yeah. So why right. would you want to go eat it on a date? No, no, maybe not first date. Not on a first date. Imagine that. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye. Bye. Bye.